Hey everyone, welcome back if you watched some of the other videos. Glad to see you're tuning in if you're a new viewer. Today we're going to talk about dual breakers and the View 2 monitoring. So what they tell you and what is true is that you can actually take a single sensor and put it on a dual breaker and just double the power and monitor it that way. What we're going to do is show that in some cases that value for usage is not the same between both breakers. So in the first part of this video we'll go through some AC units and we'll verify that the usage is the same between both of them and we'll remove the second sensor, delete all the existing data, rename them and then put the other sensor back in use. In the second part of the video we'll look at some equipment that is actually pulling different values or different power usage between the two breakers. And what we'll have to do in that case is just pick one of them and double it up or if you really wanted to and you wanted the accurate usage you could just keep both sensors on there but it could be a little bit of a waste depending on how many things you want to monitor so let's break into some of those videos and we'll show you the actual data so here we are following up on our panel 3 which is outside and monitoring the six breakers two for each AC unit and this has been running for about a week and you can see we're a few cents off but the percentages are the same and we could probably change this up to a week and we see it's just one or two cents. Percentages are the same. And if we look at the day, they're good. So today I'm going to go out and actually take the sensor off the second phase on each of the AC units. And then we'll go in and just double the usage on the sensor for the one that's left behind. And that'll give us an accurate reading. You know, 99.5% 99.5% of the actual usage. Okay, so we've gone ahead and taken out the second sensor on each of the dual breakers. So now we only have one sensor per dual breaker. And what we're going to have to do is double up, remove the descriptions from the second ones, second phases, and then double up the ones for the first. So now if we look here in a month, it actually looks like everybody's responding. But if we change that over to minute, we can see that all our phase two are now grayed out. So now what we'll do is we'll go over to settings manage devices panel 3 and we're going to take circuit 4 and just delete it let's see if I guess it's going to make me put something there so we'll just go ahead and save it with nothing with no name repeat and wash 4 5 and 6 And now we'll go to AC1 and take that off. And now for the multiplier, we're just going to put 2. Save. And we don't need, I had the 1 there to, to show the phase it was on, but we don't need that anymore, so I'm taking that off. Now we'll do 2. And here, we'll do 2. So now we've taken a single sensor on each of the ACs monitoring a single phase and then doubled it up for the second breaker which doesn't have a sensor on it. So now if we go back to monitor our home and the monitor panel 3 and we look at the month we now have double the values for each of the ACs, but we still have values for each of those sensors. I want to see if there's some way to delete out the old sensor. So I contacted support, and sure enough, there's an option for it. I just wasn't looking in the right place. So just verifying as we show here for the month, we are seeing data on 4, 5, and 6, which have been removed. If we go to the minute, they are showing is no longer connected. So now we go to settings, the manage device, the specific device. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, we can do clear data. And then we can check sensors 4, 5, 6. And clear data. And verify, and we hear that yes. Say so return to settings. Okay, so it says it cleared it. So still has the name there. Not a huge deal, but let's go back and look at the usage. Sure enough, so, well, that's just for the minute. So let's go back to the month. Sure enough, it's gone, so we're looking great. I will note that Emporia support 
has been awesome. Very quick, easy to deal with. I've only been dealing with them on the chat, but they've been very good. Okay, so here we are back looking at my panel two. And this has several different breakers on it that are dual breakers. My AC was using the same usage between both phases. So it's each breaker is a different phase. But my oven and my dryer are not. And I can't really comment on that. I've done a little, a few Google searches, but I'm not sure why I would draw more than on one or the other. But this has been running for about three weeks, almost four. And we can see that oven one and oven two, those are just phase one and phase two. And we're drawing about almost 10% more on the second phase and the first phase. And then if we look at dryer, the second floor dryer one, second floor dryer two, it's almost the same, almost 10 to 15% more on phase two. I don't have any good information on why. I need to do the research on that, but I wanted to show that some devices pull more on one phase than the other. Most of my devices, the AC compressors outside, the water heaters, all pulled equal usage or very close, just a few cents between both phases. But on these guys, they don't. And so what I'm going to end up doing here, and we won't go through it because we showed that earlier in the video of removing them and then doubling the usage. I'm going to take the phase that uses the most and double it and then clear the data for the second, or excuse me, the other phase. So for example, on oven two, phase two is drawing $2.28. Phase one is drawing $1.88. So I'm going to take the oven one off as far as the sensor, and then I'll go into oven two, double it up. And so my power usage or the monetary usage is going to be different for the month. It may a little bit off, but it's always going to be more. So that helped me calculate a little bit better. Thanks for watching. If you have comments, please leave them below. If there are some questions or other things you'd like to find out about using it, leave a comment, let me know. In a few weeks, I'll put out another video that's about a one-month review that'll go through a lot of interesting things with the app. Some things that are actually not reported accurately that they're supposed to come out with new releases. And we'll see how we can actually monitor our power usage over time. Thanks.